Hi guys, what's up? Dalex here, and today we're giving you a preview of the next round of the MotoGP Championship in 2013. This is the French Motorcycle Grand Prix from Le Mans, and wow, this is going to be an amazing race. I love the Le Mans track. I've driven it many times in many different games. Unfortunately, not on a motorbike game, but I've played it many times, and it is a great track. Also, once again, a massive thank you to Harrison101 for letting me use this gameplay. Uh, he spent a lot of time uploading all these and letting me use them, so I'm very appreciative there's a link down in the description to his channel i definitely in the sort of advise you go and check out his channel and subscribe because a lot of content on there and i think you'll all like it but um yeah let's get into the preview of this next race in the moto gp championship last just race round here at la more wasn't the most interesting in the world lorenzo won the race by nearly 10 seconds with casey stoner in third pedroza was ended up in fourth and bradle finished fifth Hayen was 6th, Davizioso 7th, Crutchrow was in 8th, Barbera was ninth, and Bautista was in 10th position. Now, if we look at the top 10 in this race, they were separated by over 1 minute. It was 1 minute and 13 seconds that separated the top 10 last year. And I have my fingers crossed that this year might be a little bit closer. Lorenzo seems to be really, really good this year. He seems to be on the form that he has been on his championship winning years. And I think that he's got a good shot at the win this year but he will not be easily getting that win he has got the two hondas of marquez and pedroza right there to go for the win as well as well as rossi back on a yamaha and also rossi last year finished second position on a ducati which wasn't as competitive and we also saw he was pretty much the best of the rest as you will because he ended up second position behind lorenzo which was a pretty much dominated weekend for Lorenzo even though Rossi had the fastest lap of the race and Pedroza had the pole Lorenzo was the fastest man in the race and deservingly got the win and the 25 points but last year's race also shows that you can overtake here in Le Mans because Lorenzo started fourth on the grid last year Rossi finished seventh they ended up 1-2 at the end of the day and Bradel started 13th last year and ended up fifth so you've got to think what could have Bradel done last year if he qualified just a little bit more up the the grid and also Hayden went from 11th to 6th in the race and uh, some other great results down the field past Pazzini started 20th and ended up 12th so you can really overtake around here in Le Mans and really only last year only three people failed to finish so that's a good thing for the race obviously and 12 people on the lead lap also shows a great amount of racing it was a bit spread out last year I do hope this year it is a little bit closer and we also have seen Honda versus Yamaha this year has been quite strong and uh, it's going to be an exciting race I really can't wait for it and uh, hopefully you guys can't wait for it too because it does look like it is going to be a great great season and this is only the fourth round of an amazing championship we saw last year that uh, it was a bit of a year that Lorenzo pretty much dominated and uh, I think you know it's going to be a hard one to sort of crack Lorenzo in this French race because obviously last year he won by quite a distance if you think about it and um I don't know, it's, it's, just, it's going to be a definitely a great race to watch, and I'm looking forward to it. And um, yeah, so pretty much guys, that is it for my preview. Uh, I was, as I said in the previous video, this will be only my fourth race watching MotoGP, so I'm still learning a lot, and sort of learning who's good at certain tracks, and what bikes are good at certain tracks. But I'm trying to get my facts straight in these videos, and hopefully you'll enjoy them. And um, yeah, massive thanks to Harrison101 once again uh, for supplying the gameplay. I think only one more, and I've actually pre-ordered MotoGP 2013 for PC, so uh, expect some gameplay of that, uh, also using that in the previews as well soon, which will be good. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching guys, maybe in the comment section I'll try and get a bit more interactive in this episode. Leave who you think is going to be winning in this race, maybe who you think is going to be on the podium, also the drivers you think that may struggle in this race, because obviously over the last couple of years this has been a great race, I've been going watch and watching some of the highlights in the last couple of years, and I do enjoy this circuit, I think it's a really challenging circuit, and uh, the riders really have to push themselves to get a good result. But um, yeah, thanks for watching guys, I really really appreciate it, I look forward to reading the comments, I'm going to try and reply to as many as possible, and um, yeah, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for MotoGP, I'll be leaving a link to Harrison's channel in the description, I think he's very near 3,000 subscribers now, which is awesome, and I must say a big thank you to you guys for helping me out on that part, and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to reading the comments, and uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks time for the next preview of the MotoGP Championship for 2013. It's been Alex, and I'm out of here, goodbye.